Hey guys, Emily from Repentagram Studios. You may remember me from such films as Closet, Asylum of Terror. Shall I continue? Um, Alright. Short version, we're going to be posting a lot of video tutorials on making your own animated props. Um, to keep them short in time, I wanted to have videos beforehand showing you how to hook up various motors um, to power sources so that we could skip that step in the video. We're going to start with your microwave or turntable motor. Um, because this is how they come. So you're going to want to learn how to attach them to a power cord. So let's get started. Your supplies, the motor, power cord is an extension cord. Um, make sure it's two prongs, a box cutter or a razor, some uh, caps to cover up the exposed wire, and wire cutters. Hmm. And a really good pair of scissors. Let me go grab those. Step one, take your good scissors, take your extension cord or power cord, and we're going to cut off the female end. Make sure it is not plugged in. Ta-da. Now, I'm going to separate these. I'm just going to cut down the middle with the box cutter. But, you know, be careful that you're not ruining anything. Okay. Just makes it easier. You can take your strippers. Now don't go down too far. You want enough room to work with, but you don't want too much of it exposed. Start out with less, and if you need more, you can always go back and do more. Ta-da! So, it should look like this right now. Now, you're going to take the wires from your motor, and you're going to take one from the cord and one from the motor, and you're going to attach them, just twist them around each other like a twist tie. Do the same with the others. Ta-da! I keep saying that. Alright, now you can take your caps. If you don't have caps, you can use electric tape. Just whatever you want to use. Just make sure that you cover these because you don't want them exposed. Once it's plugged in, it's kind of dangerous. And that is it. That's how you do it. Now to make sure that it works and that I'm not a liar. It works. All 
Okay, so that's how you hook up this microwave motor. It's going to be useful for my future tutorials so that we can skip this step and you know how to do it. Jeez. Um, it's very simple. It's safe. You're not going to die. I didn't die. You'll be okay. As always, scream, share, subscribe. Check out some of our horror movies and stay tuned for our tutorials.